In this video, I'm going to show you my Instagram followers' football shirt collections with jerseys from their favorite teams. When I announced a few days ago that I was going to make this video, I received the love DMs and I want to thank you for that. I mean, so many of you guys have sent me pictures of your shirt collection and I really appreciate that. Unfortunately, I couldn't feature everyone because otherwise the video would be way too long. But hey, don't worry. This is not going to be the last time I'm making this type of video. Anyway, I can't wait any longer to show you some of their collections. So let's get into the video. All right, we're gonna start off with Falcon's collection. He supports Real Madrid and this is his collection. So we got six nice Real Madrid shirts, three home shirts and three alternate shirts. All six shirts also have players on the back. And all of those six players are legendary in my opinion. I mean, Bill, Sergio Ramos, Benzema, Ronaldo and Modric were all in their prime at Real Madrid. And I also really like the fact that he's got Camavinga on the back of his 20. 223 home shirt because Kamavinga is gonna be the next stop at Real Madrid, believe me. My favorite shirt from his collection is probably the moderate shirt because I'm just a big fan of the 1516 home shirt. Next up, we got Just DHN with his beautiful Borussia Dortmund shirt collection. As y'all probably know, I kind of like Dortmund as well, so I really appreciate this collection. There are two shirts that I like particularly, and those are the blackout shirt from last season, I got it myself as well, with Bellingham on the back, and the new neon shirt from the 2021 season. And I just love the fact that he's got Bino Giddens on the back of the blackout shirt from last season. I mean, Bino Giddens is a big talent. A young guy is only 18 years old. But man, you're just a legend if you got a youngster on the back of a special edition kit. I also really appreciate the Marco Royce shirt because I think as a BVB fan, you just need to have a Marco Royce shirt in your collection. He's also got a Schlotterbeck shirt, a defender I really appreciate, and Guerrero, Portuguese player. So a solid collection. Next up, we got Bilal's amazing Besiktas collection. I just counted his shirts and he's got about 39 Besiktas shirts. That's amazing, right? Something I really like about those bigger collections is that you can compare the designs through the years. I mean, we've got a very interesting kit over here. It looks like it's part of a newspaper or something. I don't really know what season it's from, but it looks very cool. Same goes for this blue grayish shirt. It's probably a third or a way shirt, but it looks very cool. And you know, he actually gifted me this basic test shirt last year with Pjanic on the back. Such an amazing gift. And then again, I just love to see this many shirts from the same team because that really shows that you're dedicated to that team. Next up, we got another clean Real Madrid shirt collection. This is the Football Shirt Guys collection, and this collection is based around older shirts and I really like that. And I was really surprised when I saw he's got on the back of these shirts, only legends, amazing. I mean, the Kelme shirt with Raul in the back is so vintage, I love it. Just like the Zidane 72 home shirt. There's something I really like about that name set. I mean, if I had to choose one shirt from this collection, it would probably be the Zidane one. And of course, the Dragon shirt, with Benzema on the back, it's amazing as well. I probably don't need to introduce the shirt. You know, besides legends like Figo, Ronaldo, and Beckham, he's even got Redondo, which is an Argentinian defender. And of course, he's got Vinicius Junior, current star at Real Madrid. So a very solid collection combining Real Madrid's past and present. Next up, we got a signed FC20 shirt collection sent by Alexander, and I just had to feature this collection because FC20 is my hometown team. I gotta tell you that they've been releasing quite some bangers over the past years, so having an FC20 shirt in your collection is definitely worth it. He's got three signed shirts, and all of them have been framed perfectly. It looks so clean. He's got a shirt signed by Zidruki, Algerian international. He actually plays at Feyenoord right now. He's also got Sadilek, Czech Republic International, and he's also got a shirt signed by Sam Stang, guy from the Netherlands. The signatures and the numbers look so good and clean, I love it. My favorite shirt is probably the Ziruki one because he's just a beast. Next up, we got football shirts from New York who sent me his crazy FC Barcelona shirt collection. He's got about 32 Barcelona shirts from different seasons with different players. I mean, the fact that every shirt in his collection has got a player on the back makes it amazing. You know, I always say a name on the back makes a shirt complete. I mean, he's got quite some messy shirts and of course that doesn't surprise me because I got many messy shirts as well. But the fact that he's also got players like Ronaldinho, Rivaldo and even Guardiola really shows that he's a true Barcelona fan. And the black and golden De Jong shirt is 
So clean, I love it. And he's even got Araujo. I really need an Araujo shirt as well. Amazing defender from Uruguay. He's got Pedri, Dembele, Lewandowski, Gavi. Just another collection that combines the past and the present players. It's time to move on to the Premier League because Bailey sent me his beautiful Arsenal shirt collection. We've got some modern shirts over here, but they're very clean in my opinion. And some of his shirts also got players on the back. Really cool. I mean, last season's away shirt with the golden details is just amazing. He's got Gabriel Jesus on the back and it looks good. I also really like the pink Smith Rowe shirt we got up there and the 1516 away shirt with Giroud on the back is legendary. So overall, a solid collection. My favorite shirt is probably the Gabriel Jesus shirt. We're staying in London because David Scott Graphics sent me his West Ham United shirt collection. I only got one West Ham United shirt myself, but I gotta say that their shirts always look fresh. As you can see, his collection features shirts from different seasons. And quite some of these shirts have got players on the back as well. He's even got a goalkeeper kit with Ariola on the back. That's really cool. He's also got a vintage shirt with Italian legend Picania on the back. I see two Declan Rice shirts, of course. The MVP at West Ham United. By the way, I'm really curious to see how he's gonna do at Arsenal. And he's also got Algerian international Ben Rama on the back of one of his shirts. I hope you're gonna get a Paqueta shirt as well. We're moving to Italy now because Kuzuretu, I hope I pronounce it right, sent me his Inter collection. If we take a look at his collection, we can see some modern shirts from the past years. I really like the 21-22 away shirt, you know, the white shirt with the blue dragon. And as you can see, he's got quite some players from the current squad on the back of his shirts. And as someone from the Netherlands, I can really appreciate to see a Snyder shirt over here. As far as I know, that's a 1011 home shirt with the Scudetto Coppa Italia and the golden FIFA World winner badge. So yeah, very cool Inter collection. My favorite shirt has got to be the Snyder shirt. It's time to go to the Czech Republic because Lucas Soccer Cards sent me his Sparta Prague collection. I don't have any Sparta Prague shirts myself, so it's cool to see some of these shirts. I gotta say that I really like their logo. It looks so minimalistic with the S, but it's very clean. The home shirts on the left and right side look very good as well. I really like the look. And all three shirts have players on the back. We've got Lassi, Lachi, I don't know how to pronounce it. He's from Albania. And even one signed shirt, like the yellow one is signed. And Panak on the other shirt, a player from Czech Republic and even signed as well. I just love seeing shirts from teams I don't have in my own collection. Next up, we got another FC Barcelona shirt collection sent by Yesin Shetty. I really like the fact that he's got quite some other FC Barcelona shirts. He's got mainly home shirts, but also some alternate shirts. All right, six of his shirts have got a player's name on the back. I see Ronaldinho, love that one. I see two Messi shirts, two Iniesta shirts, and one Fidel shirt. My favorite shirt from his collection is probably the FC Barcelona 06, 07 home shirt with Ronaldinho on the back. I mean, the beautiful golden name set looks so good on the classic Barca colors. Next up, we got a Manchester City football shirt collection sent by Leo. It's a collection of 12 Manchester City shirts and we even got two vintage shirts. The vintage shirts look so clean with the Kappa logo. I love them. I can already tell you that those two are my favorites. He's got quite some of the modern home shirts. It's very cool to see them next to each other. And he's got some amazing players on the back of these shirts. I mean, as a Manchester City fan, of course you need Kun Anguero on the back of one of your shirts. He's also got last season's away shirt with Hala on the back, a very cool shirt. And the 1617 away kit with De Bruyne on the back is very cool as well. Right, the next collection was sent to me by Ashwin and he's got a Barcelona slash Messi shirt collection. I really like this collection because we only see home shirts with Messi on the back. I mean, he's got Messi's all the shirts when he still played with number 30, then he switched to number 19, and then we played with number 10. My favorite shirt from this collection has got to be the 0405 home shirt with Messi number 30 on the back. He made his debut in this shirt and the rest is history. The next collection was sent to me by Mr. Aga and he's got a very special collection because he's got all the Croatia home and away shirts from the year 2002 or 2000 all the way up to 2022. It is so cool to see the evolution of the design of every shirt. I mean, if I gotta pick my favorite Croatia home shirt, it's probably gonna be the 2022 one because I really like the logos. It looks very good with the team crest of Croatia. If we take a look at the Croatia away shirts, we can also see some bangers in there. My favorite ones are probably the 2022 one and the 2018 one. I actually got the 2018 one myself 
with Rakitic on the back, even signed by him. Next collection was sent to me by Nehan and he's got a Hanover ZX90 or an English 96 shirt collection. This collection really fascinates me because we can see so many different designs. I mean, we see a pink shirt, a white shirt, a gray shirt, a black shirt, a red shirt. My favorite shirt is probably the shirt in the upper left corner. It's actually the new season's away shirt. And he's got Tre Soli on the back. But the shirt looks really cool with the green and black stripes. And quite some of his shirts have got players on the back. Very cool to see. We got Bittencourt even. So yeah, then again, cool collection. I just love to see dedication to one club. Next collection is Kevin Kidd's Chelsea shirt collection. A nice mix of home and alternate shirts. I see he's got the two shirts in which Chelsea won the Champions League, the 11-12 home shirt and the 20-21 home shirt. He's got some very cool players on the back. He's got Modric, Pulisic, La Caca. <laughs> La Caca. <laughs> nice one, nice one. La Caca. He's also got Werner and the legend himself, Fernando Torres. So yeah, nice Chelsea collection, cool players. The La Caca shirt really made me laugh, so... <laughs> And last but not least, we got mixed football shirt collection centered around Ajax. And this collection is impressing because as you can see, it's kind of based around the alternate kits. I mean, he's got three home shirts and the rest of his shirts are alternate shirts. So away or third shirts. But hey, Ajax alternate shirts are so clean. For example, he's got the Ajax Bob Marty shirt, which is one of my favorite Ajax shirts as well. And he's also got the 1819 away shirt framed. You know, this is a legendary shirt in which they beat Juventus and Real Madrid. He's even got a very nice signed Tati shirt. I really like it. And he's got quite some players on the back of these shirts. For example, I really like the shirt with Anthony number 39 on it because it was his first season in Ajax and the next season he switched to number 11. He's got Argentinian warrior Tagliafi as well and he's even got Clavert number 45 very cool names up by the way and very cool shirt all right guys that's it for this video i hope you liked it i would have loved to feature more people but unfortunately i couldn't because the video would be too long and then again i want to say thanks to everyone for sending me pictures of your shirts because i know it can take quite some time let me know in the comment section down below what you would like to see next time and i hope to see you soon